Well, tomorrow is the big day as the countdown to the caucus is running low. As you see on your screen there, one day, 12 hours, 48 minutes, and 24 seconds until Iowa makes their decision as the first in the nation and candidates are going throughout the state. Despite the weather, some events are canceled, but they're making that final push, and we have you covered with all the details in Des Moines and right here in Siouxland. The bitter cold conditions forced cancellations of several town halls for presidential candidates, but one braved the cold to deliver his message in Sioux City. Vivek Ramaswamy was greeted by former Congressman Steve King as he held a town hall Saturday night at Stony Creek Hotel in Sioux City. He delivered a brief speech and held a discussion with those in attendance. Many potential voters braved the negative 15-degree night, even some who aren't Iowa residents, to listen in on the town hall ahead of the Iowa caucus. Our nation depends on it. I think people are really concerned about the next four years and they're going to go over literally over drifts and uh, whatever they need to do to get through this weather to do what's right for this nation and make sure they participate on Monday night and in this following election. With a larger than expected turnouts at multiple town halls across northwest Iowa on Saturday in frigid conditions, Ramaswamy remains confident that will reflect in the outcome of Monday night's caucus. We're going to deliver a shock on Monday night. I think we're going to win the Iowa caucus, actually. And I think we're going to deliver that shock, and that's going to propel us to the next phase of this race. The polls are totally off. Many of the caucus goers who are supporting us are actually first-time caucus goers. And so I think that's actually got the race set up exactly where we want it. The expectations are set modestly for me, but we're going to shatter those expectations. Ramaswamy held more town halls across eastern Iowa yesterday and will hold a caucus party in Des Moines on Monday.